Hi, this is Lawrence City Councilor Mark LaPlante. I'm here with Dr. Lane Glenn of Northern Essex Community College. Welcome, Dr. Glenn. Thank you, Mark. It's good to be here. This is a phenomenal day. Uh, talk to us, or talk to me a little bit about what is going on today, or what is the idea behind the college's uh, e expansion here, and what should we expect to see in the near future at the in-town mall? Sure. Well, what's going on today is we're bringing down this building behind us, which is the in-town mall. Uh, it's a project that's been in the works for a long time, about eight years now. What it's going to allow us to do is to build a new uh, health and technology center here in the site. 44,000 square foot facility that's going to allow us to expand our health care programs. You have more opportunity for the citizens of Lawrence and the surrounding communities to come to the college uh, and to get degrees and certificates in some high demand fields, to go to work uh, in health care fields uh, in the area. Uh, it's going to mean jobs. It's going to mean a better educated workforce in the area. Uh, and it's going to mean the expansion of the college here in downtown Lawrence. We've been here for 40 years. Uh, a year ago, we were in two buildings. This year, we're in five buildings. A couple of years from now, um, we can see uh, a, a comprehensive urban campus downtown Lawrence here. We think that um, what we have begun, uh, there's a long way we can still go working with the city, working with businesses, other organizations in the area. Um, we think Lawrence can be a college town. Now, time frames for this building. This has been around, for, like you said, for over 25 years. How long will it take to tear it down? And then when can we actually start seeing students <laughs> walking in the halls? Uh, okay, those are good questions. Uh, the building is uh, coming down now even as we speak. It's going to take a while. It's going to take several weeks to bring this thing down and get it to, get it to ground level. We anticipate a groundbreaking ceremony uh, when it's probably even colder than it is today uh, in the middle of winter. You know, it could be February, March, somewhere in there. Uh, and the new construction will begin uh, this spring. Yeah. Uh, the new building is scheduled to open in the fall of 2013, and that means students walking through the halls in the fall of 2013. That's when classes should begin. So really the building ought to be finished sometime in the summer of 2013, a little over a year. We also talked about jobs. I know that you talked about it today, as well as Senator Feingl talked about jobs. Can you give us an idea of what we're talking about as far as actual jobs, and what is that going to mean with the surrounding businesses on Essex Street, Common Street, and elsewhere? Yeah, sure. You know, uh, this past May, the college uh, provided 1,048 degrees and certificates at our graduation ceremony. It's the highest in the history of the institution. More than 300 of those were in health fields, yep. and those students go right to work. Even through this recession, what we have found is 94, 95 percent of Northern Essex Community College students are employed within a year of graduation. And most of those students, it's in their chosen career field. Health fields, certainly. Full employment. So these expanded health career programs are going to provide, you know, several hundred more students the opportunity to get those degrees and certificates and go to work. Um, and it's going to give us the opportunity to do more with our existing buildings here and perhaps expand some other programs in downtown Lawrence. Now you teased us earlier, you said that you want to make Lawrence a college town. In addition to what we're seeing here at the in-town mall, any other plans that you're seeing for the expansion of the, uh, of the college here in Lawrence? Well, uh, a few months ago over the summer the college bought the registry building, which is back over here uh, to our right. Um, you know, an old courthouse, it's not in very good shape. At the moment, the idea is that we may tear it down and put up some green space there, a park. Right? It's right across the street from the main entrance to this building. Um, but, you know, as other opportunities become available, we'll look at them. Uh, the college certainly doesn't have to own and operate everything or it, in this area. We want to be good partners to the people who do. So what does a college town mean? Right? It means you've got a place where students are coming downtown to go to school. They need other services. They need bookstores. They need food service. Uh, they do shopping, right? So what other kinds of retail services, what other kinds of uh, businesses and organizations make sense around here uh, that we can work with? Um, you know, we see a lot of opportunity ahead both for the college to be directly involved uh, and to partner with other organizations and businesses. If you think of places, even downtown Lowell, not too far from here, what's happened with Middlesex and UMass Lowell, um, they've accomplished a lot. And I think there's a lot of potential right here in downtown Lawrence for a similar uh, revitalization. Dr. Glenn, thank you so much and best of luck to you and your, and your uh, school and your organization here in Lawrence.